All right, you guys, today we're gonna be making homemade salmon chowder. Now, if I had to do this again, I would just grab a can of cream corn from the store, but if you're like me and you wanna try something new, you can make your own cream corn. All right, to get things started, prep some salmon fillets. Drizzle them with some olive oil, throw some salt, pepper, top them with lemon slices. Heat up a large pan, throw in three tablespoons of butter, half a cup chopped celery, half a cup chopped onion. Throw in half a cup chopped green bell pepper, Obviously ours isn't green. You can do an orange one if you like. All right, little seasoning here. One and a half teaspoon salt, half a teaspoon black pepper. Steer it up. Yeah, I'm on. All right, time to bake the salmon. Goes into a 400 degree oven for 10 to 12 minutes or until it flakes with a spoon. Shred some carrots up, about one cup and add to the pot. Yeah, I'm on. You know, that's a bit of food money. In goes a cup of diced peeled potatoes. Add one can chicken broth. Ladies. Chop up a little less than one teaspoon of fresh diced dill weed and bring it to a boil. Reduce the heat and cook covered for about 40 minutes or until those veggies are nice and soft. Don't forget the fish. We're gonna take this fish and make it nice and chunky. Maple, get out of the kitchen. Marina coming in clutch baking the cornbread, a fantastic idea. Definitely make cornbread with this chowder. All right, take your salmon, your cream corn that you had sitting aside. We're gonna mix it all together. Anytime as a kid getting soup, you know I was grabbing the chunky soup. And by the looks of this soup, old habits are hard to kill. Now that's a chunky bowl of soup. Stir in two cups of half and half. We decided to go with one just to reduce the amount of dairy, but if I was making this recipe again, I would definitely do the two. To make it extra creamy, go with the two, plus it gives you a little more volume. Bring the heat down to a simmer, cook covered for 15 more minutes until everything is nice and heated through. Dang, that cornbread was good. And here it is. Here's the money shot, you guys. Here's your homemade chunky salmon chowder. And it was as good as it looks. You talk about a hearty meal. This is one that is great to eat on a cold night or really any day during the week. Hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks for watching, guys. Please share, subscribe, let us know about some video ideas for next or if there's a recipe you would like us to try. Just leave a comment below. Thank you guys.